necessarily have the point and click CC that mm -hmm. is required. But if he wants to try and win that lane, he goes for export. There you go. So there it is, ladies and gentlemen. Situation, realizing that you lack in rage compared to Yves, you might want to go and go for the tenacity, but here we go. Dark Knight falls and will claim the first blood for Alter Ego Esports. Great. When Aura Fire can clear, maybe go for pick off. Sally Boy, wow. Oh, good jump and Dark Knight falls, but Kabuki will not be able to escape as Rossi is there to kick him out. Hi, will flicker out of the but way. Kabuki and Sin has their items. Now, with Kabuki and Sin having their items, their solid front line, Aran on the x -Borg and High on the Edith will definitely be enough to win out in these fronts of backs. But oh. if this happens, good Dark Knight Four falls. Kills. Definitely something traded back here. And with that being said, Vaughn is actually the first one towards the turtle. Let's see his level, level seven, as compared to Celebrate and level eight. They might want to go for a contest here. Alter Ego, do they want to do this? It's a 4v3. Good way of dragging on towards Kabuki. Vanda will find the turtle. Kabuki will be taken out. Last and Saturday, he popped. Finds a Rase. Around with a double. But it seems like Nino will be caught in the sun. He finds the kill with the Udil. But Nino survives. Zin with the flicker will not be able to find the kill. But Arad is there to burn him down. A stop, drop, and roll. Cool. And looking at the way that the map is looking, look at the positioning, right? They just need to be careful and they need to be aware of Sally Boy. If he takes Kabuki down. Way of Dragon in with Sally Boy with a stinger. Finds a kill. Nino finds a turret top side, but it seems like Rossi will be able to survive. Vando focuses down. done? I would assume that Aura Fire are now aware of the strategy that Alter Ego want to go for. Sally Boy earlier, earlier, earlier on saw that Kabuki wasn't alone. He was with Aran as well as Sin and didn't want to go for it. But as soon as Kabuki gets a little off position, that might just be the trigger that Alter Ego needs to push the tempo. Both roamers chunked high is lower than Rossi though. But it seems like Aura Fire will be able to, oh, conceal play. They're trying to reposition themselves, but it seems like they have yet to pull the trigger. Oh, they might go in here. Dark Knight falls towards the backside. Van finds the Lord. But take a look at Rossi. Finds a way of dragging on towards Van. Penalty zone. The combo is put. But it seems like Van will be able to escape with the puncture. The last insanity plus Nino will be enough to take him down. It's Van. On top of that, we saw in the team fight of the Teori Anjaman coming in from Selly Boy's ultimate. Kabuki was nowhere near. That Lord, he gave no impact in these team fights because of that insecurity, but wait a minute. Good stun though, Rossi will pop the flicker. Penalty zone to give cover as well. Dark Knight falls, but High receives a lot of damage. Sally Boy will find High. Alas, and Saturday Duran will not be able to find anyone. Alter Ego, it's a trade pie for High. Every time Iran wants to go for a little bit more damage, all Alter Ego needs to do is just kite away, run away. But look at this play. Conceal play, good wow. angle. Wave of Dragon hits Kabuki. And take a look at Zen, flickers away. Whoa. He's low. Rondo will lose his life as Sally Boy finds the shutdown. That conceal, Rossi's decision making on this show has been phenomenal. Yesterday and even the game against who was their first win? I forgot, but again, his Cho has been phenomenal, and he's always looking for these angles to go at it in the back. Kabuki doesn't have Purify, so he can't do anything. Meanwhile, what? And towards the top side to put Iran in a difficult position. He has to force to go to the top side. Can't. He? Oh, God, no! Van will to offside. No cover. High will find a man, but it seems like Van will be taken out by Sally Boy. High has to give his life as well, as two members from Aura Fire will not be in the slow to get to that point. And it looks like Pai's looking for something risky as well. He actually traded his boots. Oh, we have dragged it on towards high. The damage will be more than enough to take him down. As Sir Pai grabs a kill. Van oh. looks for a trade on towards Razi. Will he get it? Oh my god. Van survives right at the back side. Pai falls. Nino will secure the kill. And it seems like it's one for three. Or a fire. Can they defend this? I don't know. Only two members are left. Arad and Sin. Oh, the Lord is still healthy. And Alter Ego Esports will secure the base. One and O oh for Alter Ego. One for O oh for Alter Ego. One more to give what Iran wanted to give Alter Ego. Right. about this a little bit? How does it work? Good clear. Very good clear. You go for the season, Hunter. And we all know, even an M3, why High Loss was a very prior pick in the jungle. Top side, they will rotate, though, towards that turtle. Udil, though, he wants business on towards Iran, dealing damage. But it seems like Iran, he's a Uranus. He doesn't care. Oh, in the river, Rossi caught. Decimation finds the first blood. It seems like Sally Boy will pop that. Oh, Petrify connects, man. Stealing. 
taking a lot of damage, but hi, will he survive this one? Oh my god, the life steal is there for him, but it seems like in the turtle van will be taken out by oh, Sally what? Boy. Hi though, will steal the Lord. Azuril looks for a kill on towards high. He will get it, but in the mid side, Zin finds a kill also towards high. Super chaotic. Oh, maybe it is the curse. <laughs> oh my god, I just saw Weird. literally talking about the killing motive and High just does that. No flicker. And now Better Fight connects on towards High. He will be taken out. Not just yet. There you go. Silly Boy claims a kill. The sun on towards Kabuki though will slow him down, force him to use the flicker. Zin is in prime position to cover. Oh, take a look at this decimation. Fan finds a kill on towards Silly Boy. Uh, they, he overstayed and gets punished. Whoa. Going down real quick. Let's see, let's see. The knockup will not connect on towards high. Glorious pathway pops. Zin used to flick your feather air strike. Will it be Silly Boy? Yes. Retribution collected, but it seems like now, Alter Ego, do they want this fight? Silly Boy gets taken down. High finds a kill. Azudel will be the next in the chopping block as High claims the double. That he's not really going to be in a matchup with the Irithel. How Nino has been playing this Irithel is he's just been shoving and rotating, shoving and rotating. So. Good adjustment, I would say, from Kabuki not getting the Fury Hammer here and instantly going for damage to take the structures a bit faster. Oh, now, terrified high is. Will he be able to escape the answer? Is no. Silly Boy finds oh. a kill. Oh, the backside though! Kabuki will be taken down as well as Rossi was able to find the flank. Killing Zen and Kabuki. Van now stuck, isolated. Iran, will he be there in time to cover? Pi with the Petrify finds the kill. Iran now is in a 1v3 situation, but it seems like he is sustainable enough to get away. The buff to Yuzong is actually quite annoying. The fact that he can always spam that ability and get that passive. As we take a look at the audience prediction, 78% for Alter Ego for the moment. Oh, Neil, what are you doing? Oh, the combo is dropped down upon him. And take a look at the Purify. Will it be able to escape? The answer is no. Oh, there you go. High with the kill. Missed his chance. Zinu pops his flicker. Rondo opening vision. Taking damage. Feather Air Strike popped as well. Pi does not care. Pops the Black Dragon form. Let's see, will it scatter the members of Aura Fire? Meanwhile, Sully Boy will completely take the turtle. And it seems like Aura Fire does not want business as Van is quite low. Van is taken down! Pi with the kill! Iran now soaking damage. The purple buff will be invaded as Nino is free hitting, almost takes Iran down. But it seems like it's enough. Aura Fire will lose a member as well. Execute uh, their game plan so far. It's multiple targets going at you at once. So it makes Aura Fire just struggle to find a proper target to go for. They want to go for Rossi, Nino, and Udo comes in. You cannot just take damage, you cannot ignore them, so you go on Nino, and then Rossi comes back in. They always constantly re-engage, and this is what's going to happen again. Rossi! Oh, oh. Nice pick. Feather Air Strike will be able to burst him down. And it seems like with the 5v4, Alter Ego, they will reset the Lord. Is this the green light for our fire to commit, though? Let's see what will Alter Ego respond with. Sally Boy, knocked up, stunned as well. No damage coming through though. Pi pops the Black Dragon form to scatter the members. Oh, oh no. he spots Kabuki. Kabuki with wow. the Ricker Petrify onto it too as Pi finds Kabuki. Zin, wings by wings. Take a look at the Lord, 5,000 HP. And the Dragon in the backside will be able to shut Pi down as the Lord will be claimed by Alter Ego. Alter Ego responds with Nino killing another member who wins the fight! Alter Ego! Alter Ego! Alter Ego. Three for two! Has a and lot of other heroes that he can actually perform with, so why always the eat it two times in a row, realizing it didn't work out for game number one? We don't really see much of the impact. Damage lackluster for the moment. Can he look for a pick? Not just yet, so far as well. I think the main idea for the Edith pick is usually when you pick Edith is to try to counter an all-in composition. And that's what Alter Ego kind of have going for themselves, right? But it's never truly a full all-in for Alter Ego. Whoa, Glorious Pathway. On towards Kabuki with the combination of Pi. He will be petrified. He will be taken Whoa. down. But no! With the flicker, he's able to escape. But Nino will be there to secure the kill. Pi was a trade. And Nino, though, isolated as well. No one can cover him. He gets taken down. Sally Boy quite low. That's a mistake by Alter Ego. Aura Fire now looking in prime position to turn the game around. As Uriel now caught. 
he gets taken down as well. Four bodies of Alter Rigo Esports now. Winter from Iran, I think was a great purchase here. He knows that, sure, he's very maneuverable, he's very tanky, he can get out with a Purify as well, but there is gonna be, there is gonna come a time where Alter Ego can actually burst him down. And when they do, this Winter is going to be a very good subversion to force Alter Ego to a point where they don't know who to pay. So Aura are giving Alter Ego a taste of their own medicine. And I do believe that this game has, oh, what? What happened? Rossi found Sin. I was about to say that Aura Fire have successfully delayed it long enough for Kabuki and Sin to get that power spike, but that power spike does not matter if you're not even in the Land of Dawn when these team fights Ooh. begin. Let's see though, it's only three members around the Lord Force out of Aura Fire. Glorious pathway pops. Kabuki, no fall of damage. Van will be taken down first as high. It's gonna be next. It seems like Alter Ego Esports, they know. burst these members down, and Alter Ego, once they got that pick, it was just a green light. It was easy for them, but now, whoa! Uno reverse card! It's a revenge solo killing Kabita. Yeah, they're just juggling their items at this point, but again, it is value for Alter Ego. Lord, always value for the team that gets the Lord, but remember for Aura, playing within their base is great for their front to back. Early Black Dragon form. Take a look at the damage, though. He gets taken down instantly. With the decimation as well, Sally Boy will be taken out as well. Take a look at the back side though. Aran now looking for a flank. Udil and Nino. There. Rossi, Rossi. Oh, Rossi. Finding a good. Oh, oh good winners. Just run Jen. Petrify though will connect. Flicker will be popped as well. But the cover will be enough to take Rossi down now. Down Three. Here, alter ego. They need all the points that they uh -huh. can get to get out of the red zone, but here we are. Aran, is this an overstanding move? The damage will be enough. He has Immortal, though. Uh oh Pathway, Immortal, lost. Zin, by the right side of the backside. High will be taken down first as Aran now trying to survive, but can't. The backside, Telly Boy finds his son on towards Kabuki. He has Immortal, finds a kill as well, but he will lose his Immortal. Take a look at the mid side, though. Sin will be solo kill practically. No, he has Immortal as Kabuki was taken down. Wings wow. by Wings will be popped as it is going to be Zin and Fan defending for Aura Fire. Oh, oh wait! Oh, Nino! No way! Good solo kill there by Zin as now Uriel caught. Retribution pops as well. Van with the cover. But it seems like now Van, what is his game? He will retreat here. Black Dragon form is not ready for Alter Ego. But on the other side, Sin also utilized his Feather Airstrike. I think that's a really huge resource that they need to utilize in these team fights now that Udil goes in. Oh, that might be sick. The Udil breaks it down, loses his immortality. Take a look at Van, looking for the kill. He lost his immortality as well. Pi will jump with the Black Dragon form, claiming the kill on towards Van. Is looking for it for Zin and Kabuki as Aran is isolated in the front side. The thing is, it's Sin can never hit Nino in an actual team fight because the Black Dragon form just zones Kabuki and, and Sin. That's why the front to back that Aura Fire creating can only work in the base. This might be the final push. Feather airstrike pops. My pop the Black Dragon form as well. He's half HP though. Oh, Rossi. Taking their time. Kabuki caught by Rossi. And take a look at the collapse now. Edith loses immortality to Ron. Desperately trying to cover the base as Rossi claims the double. Ron gets taken down. Silly boy. Alter Ego with the clean sweep against the Red Dragons. Wow. Like another man. Another wise man once said.